model now that has rise is Okay. Welcome back to episode number four of the Chats channel. We're talking with Bella from Malachi today and we just want to chat about our business how, journey. Yeah. Yeah, so we are just gonna like talk about the beginnings. Yeah, and like then I how we've talk about ended up like here. Sky straight up. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, I'll just quickly introduce myself for those who don't know. So I own Malachi the label. Um, I sell beach inspired jewelry. It's all water safe. You can wear it on the ocean. Um, but I didn't actually start there. Like I had Sky. Which is where Taylor comes in and how we met. So we can't quite remember if you modelled or if you no, did the I hair. Just did oh, hair. you just did the hair. I just did oh. hair for Charlie Domentara. Yeah, that yeah. was the first time. Was that yeah, right? yeah. So I want to was... insert a photo of like yeah. everything. So <laughs> I was gonna put it here. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> I put a photo in the middle of that photo shoot in particular that we're talking about. I think that was the very first time we'd ever met. Met? Was oh yeah. The what first time yeah, the first time we'd ever met, um, I remember walking into your home salon and you were doing the model's hair because I was late to my own shoot, so <laughs> <laughs> not like that anymore. No, I'm really I'm really, really professional now. Um so yeah that was kind of the first time we met so i was recommended taylor from another hairdresser in perth um but you'd been following sky yeah and i've been following you on sky as well like literally when i hear sky by the sea the first thing i think of is like a video of you making the jewelries on the rocks yeah somewhere. so yeah so how sky started was i was actually on like a trip in um Calbarry, so that's north of Perth, and I was like doing these like little wire wrapped, like what cowrie pendant yeah. necklaces things. It was really random, like there was nothing like that. Like I hadn't seen anyone doing anything like that. Um, I don't even know how I came up with the concept. I think I got inspired by people like wire wrapping, um, like crystals. Oh, so people yeah. would do like yeah, and I was like, well. I'm gonna put a shell in it. So, I, th yeah, I think this was back, so what, 2018? Yeah, I was gonna say very. So, I started making them, yeah, in 20, maybe even 2019. I'm not too sure. Um, but, yeah, so that's how Sky started. I was like posting BTS and I was literally like sitting on the beach like this with like my little jewelry tray, um, making it all. And, yeah, it was pretty unprofessional and laid back. It wasn't really meant to be a business. It was kind of by accident. Um, I just posted that I made these pendants and everyone was like, oh my God, I want one. Yeah. So I was legit making them for free. <laughs> yeah. At the start, I'd like made heaps for free and then everyone was like obsessing. So I was like, oh, I'll start like a um, Etsy shop because I didn't know like about websites and all of that. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that first Sky day, yeah, that was how it was born. That first day, I had put up, I think, like five pendants, and they all sold, which was like mind blowing to me. Um, and I even had an over, <laughs> I'd even had an over east order, which was like really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how Sky was created, and, and our friendship. Yeah. And yeah, I was hairdressing. Mm. So this was um, before Taylor even had the salty blonde. Yeah, before um, the salty blonde. This was like the salty before. blonde hairdressing business. Yeah. So this was like, yeah, I, I think maybe like six months after ish. Yeah. You would have started. Yeah. The salty blonde. Um, and I remember I was like on my phone and I saw that Taylor had posted that she was like starting a like not a jewelry business <laughs> starting a clothing business and i was like oh my god that's so cool because i don't really feel like many people were doing it back then no no one was doing it like um, there was like the big big brands yeah. but like no one was really like just no perth based no not really um, so it was pretty like exciting to see someone else like my age and a friend like doing something yeah fun like that yeah um yeah. And then 
fast forward to do we fast forward or do we go through like so we've been through obviously we're both own full-time businesses now that's our income um but when we had first started like we've seen each other's very lows very lows yeah <laughs> our lows as well like sky was definitely not anything like malachi yeah no um okay. i was really not getting any sales um I don't even remember which I want to you. post some photos of Sky. Like, yeah, attach some. I'm going to attach some of me when I modelled for it. Yeah, Taylor's like the my last, main model. That was the last shoot. The and last that was when it was shoot. kind of dropping off even. Yeah. Um, okay, well, after Sky then, I remember Bella and I went to Canteen. Yeah. Intrigue. And Bella was like, I don't want to do Sky anymore. Because she had stopped posting and everything by oh, this point. I, it, it was like, I was like, I'm just going to delete the page. Yeah. And I was like, not interested. You were saying how you wanted to do, like, more dainty, on trend. And these the really most cool. important part and the biggest difference from Sky was it was water safe. Yeah. Um, which was obviously a lot more expensive to oh, start yeah. off for me. And I think that was kind of what was <laughs> right those wipes <laughs> under the tripod that we made <laughs> that we made um i'm gonna go wash my hands in the ocean real quick i'll have mr man or are you gonna take this man oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry buddy no. I didn't even know where we were up to. Oh no! Um, where were, where were we up to? Buddy. Okay, well, I just inserted clips of Sky. Is that it? No, no. we were up to no, 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 we were trig, up to trig, trig. trig and like the money thing of it being like higher quality and all of that and like yeah. me being scared to. And you had the whole name picked out and everything. No, everything was done. I had the whole Bella collection. Was like, I'm like, gonna call it Malachi. Yeah, I'd found my, I'd found the first collection. I'd found a manufacturer and the first collection. Like, I just needed that little push. Um, and I, also, was I that push? Yeah, I think so. I think you were like a component of that yeah. push. I wouldn't. Like, I think. I remember being like, do it. Do it. Yeah. Like, you're we're holding always, you back. Do you're it. always like that, but. I just had a really good point but I've forgotten it now um oh that's what I was gonna say it's hard because when you're trying to do something different and like unconventional um people will be like yeah do it like that's so amazing but like I feel like they don't believe in me do you ever relate really? yeah like I'm just like I don't know like it's a very not lonely but like there's not many people doing it, so like it's scary to do something different. It's pretty much what I'm yeah. Um, I guess like in a sense, like they're saying do it, but, but they don't really. But think, they don't like, really they're know. Like, oh, but they're just like, like oh, you... that sounds cool, but yeah, like I it's know. not them putting their money out. It's not well, them putting and their. Like I know with my parents, like they were like, oh, like, but you know, when are you going to go back to uni and things like that? Like yeah. this wasn't really a career. Oh, what? Yeah. Are you seeing that right now? It's got a fish. It's got a fish. <laughs> is that a seagull? What is that? No, that's an eagle. Guys. As if. That's so <laughs> random. Um. Buddy, go play. Go play around. <laughs> um. What was I saying? I'm really thrown off by We're that. We're so out of this. Yeah. Okay. I have, I have ADHD. And I feel like I just bring it out of people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, I took every single cent that I had and I put it into Malachi. And when I say every single cent, like I literally mean it. Like genuinely my accounts were on zero. Um, and I just did it. And I think, were you at the first shoot for Malachi? Yeah. You were the first model. Yeah, I was the yeah. first model. So I was taking all my own photos and me and Taylor went down. down. Here. It was like up, down. Yeah. 
Um, and I took all the photos, and then I just like <laughs> you took all the photos of every collection. Every, yeah, no. Up I'm so glad I don't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, and this whole time you were still doing the salty blonde, and yours was all and hairdressing and hairdressing. But this was back when you were like clothing. the boho babe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't at. That's it's what like Kendall and I were talking label. about. Yeah, like if you are an actual. OG TSB girl, mm. you know the prints. Yeah, Taylor's very boho. I was very um, boho. Yeah. And yeah. What and else then, do we have to share on? Um, Just our growth. Like yeah, watching the, each other grow. Yeah, it's been insane. And like both. Yeah. Like we've all, we've like been on the same level. Like two complete different industries, but the same level in sense of like we work we took our own photos for our own collections yeah we did our own social media when we started like employing other people to help yeah well, you started that a little bit earlier than me but yeah we've Only been by pretty... like a few months yeah because you i think p i had a lot of photographers reach out to me whereas i think you actually sourced the ones that you yeah, I We're definitely source more. I'm, um, if you know me or if you've ever worked with me on Malachi, I'm pretty fussy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a good and bad thing. Um, I am learning to like let go of things and let people do their yeah do their thing. Yeah, but um, yeah, I've worked with people that have reached out, and then I've ended up like loving them and using them as photographers and then I've also outsourced um photographers I feel like when we were in the car we yeah, didn't want to we... talk about it before like when we saw each other because we don't really catch up too often so when we do see each other it's like just non-stop talking especially about business yeah and then we were like no no, no uh, don't say anything don't I will, say anything all, yeah so I feel like I've had all these things and now we're here and I can't remember any of it but yeah, yeah. I'm honestly just getting so distracted like the bird's still up there with its fish oh my god it's eating it now Bodie's just climbing me. Oh, yeah, look at his face. Covered it in strawberry. Yeah, he's Looks just like a murder me. scene. Yeah. There's like bugs landing on <laughs> us everywhere. I, as you were talking before, this big gush of wind came through and I was like, oh, is that going to fuck with the audio? Hopefully not. Hopefully um, not. Well, I feel like with our, like throughout our journeys, I've also been able to like go to each other when we've had issues like yeah. customer oh, issues Bella has like done my website multiple times yeah I, do you remember that stage no you are not touching the screen do you remember the time where <laughs> I was running I the paid Instagram. you to run the Instagram yeah I was running the salty on Instagram for a bit there that was craziness yeah forget that and then now I'm like <laughs> oh Bella can you do, do this my website can you do that can you do this and yeah. then she's like oh, so I think I'm like, so busy you, as it is and I feel like you're like super, not laid back with your business, but I'm so laid back. With you're quite business. laid back, and like I am not. Yeah. Um, I'm very much like love learning about like all the back end things that you guys don't see, whether as you're really driven to be like creative, which I also love. Yeah. Um, but yeah, little things like website things that you guys just don't even see. I've worked yeah. on for the Salty Blonde. <laughs> Um, and I would honestly love to do more work for the Salty Blonde, but I need people to do work for me for my own business. So yeah. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah, I would love to do that, but I just. Because Bella's have time. also started off Tropic. Yeah, so, yeah, so with Malachi as well, um, I was also painting on surfboards. Oh, oh my god, it? we should tell um, the how you ordered a surfboard from me. Yeah. You tell it. You tell okay. It. So I found out I was pregnant and no one could know, like I couldn't tell anyone. It was before that 12 week mark and Bella had, she'd already, you'd already done a few surfboards. Yeah. The surfboards took off. Like there was no period of like, oh, is this gonna am work? I going to, yeah. Like <laughs> the surfboards. I think that tr truly, start, didn't you paint one for Byron to start off Yeah. With? So it started with me painting a surfboard for my boyfriend's birthday. Um, and it was just really fun. Was I've it always. The whale shark one? It was octopus. Octopus. Okay. Inserting octopus surfboard. <laughs> um, yeah. And then you'd reached Got out and you were like, oh, what did you, what were you saying you wanted it for? 
Um, no, I think I just said I wanted one. Yeah. I wanted turtles. Mm. And um, Bella did it up. It took you a while. Cause, oh, my circle took Yeah, because they, cause they but literally... But then something... Insane. I'm going to insert the turtle one. Went wrong. So I said to Bella, like, oh, like, I want to surf for blah, blah, blah. And then I rocked up to a shoot with you and Charlie. Yeah. And I was 11 weeks pregnant. She was and pregnant. And I couldn't tell anyone. And I couldn't even tell Bella that this board that she just spent hours and days on was for Bodhi. <laughs> That's um, so cute to think about. Yeah. That that was and crazy. You, and, and I got so many photos with I know. And I was like, I can't even tell her. That was, was hilarious. But um, you also need to keep peeing that shoot. Yeah, that. Oh my god, I had to keep running into the water to pee. And yeah. I was, oh that was really gosh. funny. I was clueless. I had no idea. Yeah. But to be fair, like, I look, when you did announce your pregnancy, I like instantly remembered one time when we were like, I think I'm older than you. I'm 22, turning 23. Yeah, I'm 22. And I was turning two in March. 23 in March. Oh, uh, oh, only by a couple months. Yeah. So we were 19 and I was definitely not on your level, like maturity-wise. <laughs> but I remember we were at the beach and we'd just been swimming and you were saying like, yeah, like we're ready for babies. If it happens, it happens. Like, I just feel like you were ready for so long. Yeah. So I think because that was cool to look back on. Well, they've been, yeah, you guys are in a more secure relationship. I remember most like adults. you laughing, and it wasn't even just you. It was like all my friends. They'd laugh and they're like, "Yeah, fuck that." Like, I'm oh, I was so far off that. I was just nowhere near that. Oh my god, you've got one of those scary bugs in your hair. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot again. Yeah, we need to go for a swim soon. Um. um yeah, and then I still got that surfboard, obviously. That I just need to glaze it or oh, get a um, fiberglass. Yeah, and then Brody so can sick. use it. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, I would love to fiberglass my boards. So with my boards, I paint with acrylic, um, and I seal it with like a varnish. Um, I have used like marine grade varnishes, but I just don't trust that that wouldn't damage the artwork over time. So I, yeah, to be able to actually know that the artwork is in there, you have to fiberglass surfboards, which I have no clue how to do. It's a very, um, like niche thing to do. I think yeah. it's quite difficult, um, sure. and expensive. So yeah. maybe in the future, imagine adding that cost on top of like what you already do. But it's already insane to me that people pay that much for my surfboards. Like. I shipped a surfboard over east recently and that's so good but she paid like just under a thousand dollars for my artwork and it's definitely like worth that yeah. price and it's just crazy to like look back and go like I'm selling my artwork yeah that's you know? so cool but even with saying that no one else can have do you want to talk yeah. about copyright sure and like people Copy. I remember like seeing people literally copying your oh, art. Yeah. It's a really hard one with that because like as a artist it is very like flattering. Like, you know, what what's the saying? It's like copying is the it's the mo biggest form of flattery or something. Yeah. Is that it? I don't know. Something like that, you know, like I mean, it, it is a compliment like at the end I of the day if someone <laughs> I did like I knew you what like, you were yeah, talking yeah. about. Um, yeah, flattery is the biggest compliment. Yeah. Um, but it can also be frustrating when not flattery only... Flattery is the biggest compliment. What's the... Copy is the biggest... Oh, did I do it the wrong way around? I, <laughs> well, I just know what I look Copying back on this and be like, Copying is flattering. Copy is flattering. Okay. I yeah, don't know. We're talk. I've got no idea. Um, oh. oh my God. I thought that was in with their shirt off <laughs> there's so many people down here um now. yeah so i have had people like recreate my artworks and they'll send it to me and that's super cute but then i have also experienced like the other side of that where i will see someone that's done it and i go credit yeah 
you know, credit goes far. <laughs> Have you had anyone try and sell the poppies? Mm, no, not that I know of anyway. I don't know. Um, yeah, no. Well, that's good. It, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. It, it's... Our tropic is still so fresh. And... Oh, yeah, I didn't even get into that. Um, yeah, so I'm doing like surf. Yeah, so I was selling on my surfboard through Malachi still. Oh my god, that seagull's literally like at us. Yeah, it's trying to like, pick up anything. Go away. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten this close to a seagull. Oh, it's um, time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Off traffic. <laughs> oh my god, my brain. <laughs> like, oh. if you've ever met me, this is me. Yeah, this um, is Bella. This is me. <laughs> um, Off traffic. How stickers. Yeah. Okay, it's now stickers, yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, so you said how we're, you were selling the surfboards through Malachi. Yeah. And then you started um, off Tropic. Did you start off Tropic by memory from what you told me? Because Malachi is your real pretty girl beach aesthetic. Yeah, so Malachi was a different vibe. Um, it's hard, I feel like, as well. And we've both watched each other doing this with our other business. Well, the Salty Blonde and Malachi. Mm. Um, is like narrowing down your vibe. Yeah. It's so hard to like pick the road and just stick to it because it is really important like as a business to niche down yeah. and you know have have um yeah you've got to have consistency consistency <laughs> consistency throughout your entire brand so it is really hard at the beginning to like narrow that down and have a really clear vision of what you want to be yeah so as my surfboard art was developing yeah. It was just not the same vibe as Malachi, and I love the really like vintage surf um, vibe, and that's not really Malachi's vibe. Malachi is more like island, tropical, yeah. all of that. So I decided to split them up. I also wanted to be able is to. That a spider? I don't know. Get away from my. I wanted to be able to market to boys as well, and I feel like boys don't really care about jewelry. Not really, no. Female jewellery anyway, I don't think it's on their radar. <laughs> um, so, and I did have, like, guys interested. This is actually another thing. I'm not going to say it. I'll say it off camera. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're not naming and shaming. Oh, I'll, I'll say... Name and shame? No, I'm not naming and shaming. Oh, I thought you were telling me something, like, new that you're doing. No, 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 no. Um, no, just a... Oh, my God, it's strawberry... <laughs> <laughs> There's a, so much going a, on. Um, influencer, influencer's boyfriend wanted one of my wanted my artwork as a tattoo. Oh, did I say that? No. Can um, I put this in? Yeah, I didn't say his name. Okay. Um, what are the chances they're gonna watch this anyway? The boy. Yeah. I don't know. They're not together anymore. There's your hint. Oh, and the okay. the influencer is probably the biggest influencer. In Australia right now, don't in say. Australia? Oh, for sure. I have no idea. I'll tell you after. Wait, you can tell me now. I just won't put it in. Oh, I don't really know her to be honest. Really? No, I don't really follow her. No. Um. Yeah. So that was kind of the point of splitting them up, but it is a really, you know, long process to build another brand. Um, and it's definitely taking longer than I would have liked it to. The sample process is a lot. Um, and with stickers that you need to be surfing, you know, it needs to be really high quality and last. Putting wax on, taking wax off. Yeah. All of that. So the process is long. Yes, it is. <laughs> I have to say, my other two, three chats videos were very like, and I feel like we're just so <laughs> too like the weather's finally nice. And no, it's not flowed. That's okay. That's the whole point of these chats. Is this is honestly just, just like the, how we talk, though. Yeah. And 
when you're passionate about what you're talking about, it's so easy to just like have all these different things at once that you want to say. And the conversation, it, I don't find that it ever really flows. No. Like no conversation about something you're passionate about, especially when two people are passionate about it. <laughs> yeah. It's just like different thing, different thing, different thing. Yeah. Um, I feel like maybe we could have written stuff out to follow on but then it's not as no authentic. That, this, yeah this is just like literally, this is how we talk business. this is it There's, and it's the business that like you guys would understand as well i feel like if we spoke about like business business things yeah um, i wanted to like talk more behind the scenes as well like we've obviously t said how malachi started and stuff but i want to tell people the side that they don't see like have you had any manufacturing problems before or anything like that? Um, you know what? I am like a very rare case of finding a manufacturer early on and sticking with them the whole time. I don't yeah. know if you're with your same manufacturer. Yeah, I've had it's craziness. I've That's got, really unheard of. Yeah, no, I know. But I've got manufacturers. Like I've got a denim manufacturer. I've got a swimwear yeah. manufacturer. Yep, 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 yep. I've got that manufacturer. for like different things. But... Um, I've not really had too many issues. I mean, like, I've, I'm lucky with jewellery, so um, there's a thing called import tax, um, and I think you get, you cop the import tax a lot, but I don't because jewellery is really small, so I can order, like, heaps of jewellery, and it comes in just one big box. Whereas when you're ordering things in... I get 13 boxes so and I've like not, a thousand bucks. So I've not dealt with all of that and that was really like unintentional but it's great now like it worked out really well yeah. um that i avoid all of that the only <laughs> issues with manufacturers is maybe production taking longer than it was meant to yeah that kind of sucks i'm pretty like pre-planned so if i'm releasing a new collection that new collection is in the works for like at least six months. Yeah, like you more. just released. Yeah. What collection did you call this one? Uh, Palm Paradiso. So I just released yes. my fourth collection, and that was literally in the making. Um, you from the have minute literally I'd, just yeah. launched. Your and I'm back in that one. process again. That's what it's like, though. So that's how long that these collections like really take, um, and you guys just don't see that because obviously we can't just. You know, yeah. make the collection go, yeah, we've got a new collection coming and then you guys are waiting six months. Yeah, um, and it loses all the hype. And... Yeah, so it is hard navigating all of that and being able to predict that the production and then, you know, the stock arrives, you got to make sure you actually... Well, samples. Oh, samples. Samples. Man. The samples come in and then you have to and approve that. And samples are almost the same price yeah, as the bulk we, order. <laughs> we have to pay... But we have to pay full price... For a sample, you don't get it at um, and then if you're a manufacturing it price. Stuff, yeah. yeah, and then, you know, tweaks or it's just not what you thought it would be. I've got a fair amount of jewellery just sitting in my office that I just didn't <laughs> like because I've got all these, like, random pieces. Um, but how good is that feeling when a sample arrives and you just open it and it's, like, better Perfect. than you thought? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just, like, seeing it in person, you're just like, oh, oh my God. Especially if it's first that. time round as well, the first sample. And I you're love like, that feeling. Fuck yes. It's the, yeah, it's the best. So, yeah, no real issues with that. Um, I run out of stock a lot. Yeah. We were talking before about, like, forecasting and predicting how things how are going to sell. I got some feedback that... Um, someone was not happy, not not happy, yeah. um, but she wanted more variety from me, from Malachi. Which is good. It's oh, good I, feedback. I love feedback. I am like so, I just love it. I love, you know, I feel like people are so, they don't want to say anything to offend you, but like, I love that. I want feedback. I want honest feedback. So yeah, someone had said that and like, I completely agree, but there's just so much that you guys don't see and so much money and time and like for every new design or even for Taylor, new size, you know, like I don't, I don't deal with any of those issues with jewellery that I feel like clothing can get a bit hairy. Yeah, it definitely can. <laughs> um, but, you know, like I don't want to order in 
like heaps of stuff and then it's not selling and that's just overproduction and yeah i think with both our brands like it is really difficult to be 100 percent sustainable i don't think anyone is yeah no God. um but you know knowing where it's coming from so like i know what my factory looks like um i've not physically been there it's in guadong 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 i don't know Guadon, I don't know. I, I actually should really know that. No, I I, I know, know exactly that. which place you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah, but, but I know. I don't know how to pronounce I, it. I you know like get videos of them in the factory, and there's a team of five. Um, so you know it's creating job opportunities and things like that. And then we also plant one tree per order, um, and that's again creating job opportunities. Um, habitats for wildlife and it kind of helps offset you know from shipping orders in airplanes and all of that and then sustainable packaging um you do that as well yeah um you've got your own branded packaging now that's so cool yeah so that's I my have, next step yeah it's really fun yeah um cool. but yeah so I guess that oh god that might be another struggle at the start is trying to be as sustainable as possible. And everyone putting you down for oh, I that just one, don't even listen to that because yeah, it's one normally the things. people that probably aren't very sustainable themselves, yeah, you know. You've oh, got to have a thick skin. Yeah. Especially honestly, on TikTok. Now I do. Yeah. Oh my God. TikTok's You've got to have a worse. thick skin as a business owner on TikTok because wow. People, I had a comment Not today. <laughs> business, like... <laughs> I go and have coffees with people and we'll talk about business and like two hours feels like five minutes like there's just so much to cover the wind's coming in now yeah maybe we'll just go swim yeah I've been on podcasts where I give a lot more yeah, valuable go info the, um, go out the I feel podcast. like this is just super chill but yeah I do give like a proper proper insight into exactly how I've done everything on some podcasts that I've been on so maybe you can leave them in the link yeah yeah they're a bit more productive yeah from us being distracted it's kind of yeah. hard to film at the beach yeah you say bye oh yeah okay <laughs> thank you for watching um i hope you learned something thank you bella for being okay. on thanks for having me um, i think we'll do another episode where we get special questions yeah, oh, we should that, put it up. going to Buddy Bali. Yeah, I am moving to Bali. This is probably going to be one of our last hangouts. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to take Little Man for a swim. Look at that water. We're going to go get in that. Alright. Bye. Bye.